Hey guys, Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com. Uh, out here, it happens to actually be a sunny day for about uh, probably another 10 minutes before I get stuck back in the rain. Out here in Seabrook, just outside of Beaufort, basically Page Point Bluff. If you guys had to see the dirt road I had to get down here in, in my little tiny Versa, uh, you probably would have laughed. So um, just keep that in mind, and we, you know, as you guys can see, we are surrounded by pine trees, uh, which will come up into play. I want to show you guys something out here today. Um, the trip was well worth it. What we got out here is a 2007 CBOSS 235 center console. Now, in running some quick specs on the boat, and I'm just going to do a quick walk around for you guys as I give you the description of what we're doing here. This is going to be a long video, so strap in. Um, what we got here is now, CBOSS basically stopped manufacturing in 2006, these models. But I just want to show you guys right here, we're actually ending in A707, which, you know, so this is a, uh, an 07 CBOSS with 2006 motors. Now, another aspect of this um, listing is going to be real simply, this boat was not purchased until 2009, brand new. So you got a 2009 purchase with a 2007 marked hull with 2006 engines, all hailing under 100 hours. Okay, so let's keep that first and foremost. Now, as I'm gonna walk through the boat for you guys, I wanna also just point out the trailer is in great condition. Um, out here in Page Point, basically, uh, Page Point Bluff, the only, you know, the boat's gone maybe about a mile down the road. And local service guy has maintained the, uh, the engines every year. Um, one that works here in the area for all of the boaters. And I want to show you guys on this tandem axle spring-loaded trailer, we got the aluminum bunks. Um, so how awesome is that? Uh, I took a look at the springs. The springs are in good condition. They're showing rust. I'd probably say in the next year or so, you're going to have to replace them. But overall, the trail is in really good shape. Uh, my only recommendation is going to be a spring replacement at which point, and let me see if I can get in there. I know you guys are like, just get to the boat, dude. Just get to the boat. But here's the thing. You guys can see the springs. They're good. They just got rust on But just you make your own judgment. Don't listen to me. So anyway, pop up. You got uh, electric brakes is what the seller is telling me. There's a which I want to cover all the bases because here's the thing. And I want to be very clear with you guys. You guys know the rules. If you like the boat and you want to make an offer on the boat, then we're more than happy to process that with a small deposit and get you in front of the boat and see trial the boat and do all of those things. Based on the location of the boat and the proximity and the fact that the seller is also a fireman, we are not and I am not and we are not going to just show you the boat just to show you the boat. I am walking enough through the boat right now to show you exactly what we're looking at. This is the second or third day of February, the day after the Super Bowl. Super Bowl with the worst call by a coach ever, but we'll leave that up for interpretation. I'm giving you enough of a walkthrough in this long video to save you the trip. I will not be randomly just showing this boat. Neither will the seller. If you guys want the boat and you're interested in the boat, we are more than happy to talk and get you close enough to the point of where um, if everything checks out, please uh, bring a surveyor, bring a mechanic, do what you have to do. Don't take anybody's word for a boat that says that it's in great shape. Um, you come out with your people and we will get this worked out. I don't mean to be mean, but I'm just letting you guys know, um, you know, this boat is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Now, we're going to get to it now. Okay, four minutes in. Hull is in amazing shape. Factory shine still on the boat. No bottom. Tires, good condition. You guys saw the hull ID? We have Mercury 115 EXL PTOs on uh, port and starboard. Hailing with basically under 100 hours. The seller's had the boat for about four to five years and hasn't put any more than 10 to 15 hours on the boat. It could be plus or minus 10%. Um, and we're going to see if we can get the uh, service records pulled out. As of this moment, trim tabs aren't working. That's the only thing as of this moment that aren't working. Anodes, just so you guys can see, in great shape. 
props in good shape. Uh, it could be either the pumps on the trim tabs or the switch. Either way, it's not going to be addressed. It's part of the sale price, and you can get that fixed at your leisure. I would recommend getting the trim tabs fixed. I think it's just the switch because the pumps were just done last year. Sea Star Steering. You guys just saw me climb up the swim ladder, and I am also going to kick off my sandals. You guys can see the boat. We just I just rinsed the boat off. She's already filling up with um, pine needles. So if you come to see the boat and it's got pine needles, understand that, you know, nothing we can do about it. Cushions in really good shape. You got a little bit of staining up on the bow area cushions, uh, but honestly, I'll, actually they'll clean right up. Anchor, anchor hatch, side cushions. Uh, they actually sit in that shed back there. They don't even stay on the boat as well as the cooler. You guys can see on both sides underneath the bow, your storage. Same is going to be on the port side. You guys can see the cushions. The T-top is in great shape. No issues to complain about there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just walking through. Uh, I'll get you the uh, gas. Um, from what I understand, in the last year or so, uh, gas tank had also been flushed out uh, and cleaned as well. So you're good there with the fuel lines and everything else. I'll see if I can find the service records. Cushions. Cushions, leaning post. You guys can see the boat is as advertised. There's no, um, you know, mysteries here. There's your gauges, your stereo, your VHF, your GPS map 540S. Up in the overhead compartment, just storage, nothing too fancy. Let me give you guys a quick look at your controls. So you can see it, and I will do my best to take shaking this out in editing. I think this switch is what's bad on the trim tabs. Now, um, as I walk through the vessel, and I pop up over here, I also want to show you guys real quick, a really nice head area. Um, I didn't clean this up, as you can see. This, uh, you got it, you know, there is no porta potty that comes with it. There is actually a fresh water tank for this sink in this area alone. This is actually our wa raw, blah, 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 raw water wash down vessel, but there is a fresh water tank, but it is just for the sink area. Now, let's pop up over here. As you guys can see, battery area, twin batteries. Um, I'm going to assume they're fresh. We'll have them checked out. I'm showing two batteries. Also two Perco switches for on and off. So you guys can see this area. That just got a little dirty from me rinsing the boat off. You have a live well, both port, and here's starboard, and port, and also cooler boxes. Also on the other side, this one's actually cleaner over here because I wiped it down. And what I'm going to do is, right now I'm going to get to the flaws of the boat real quick so I don't want anybody coming out. Uh, if I can find my way through the pine needles up, oh, just so you can see up here, uh, no soft spots on the floor, let me get that out of the way. Right here you got a tiny little spider crack, just so you can kind of get perspective. Uh, nothing up on the rails, no spider cracking as far as in anything with screws or so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to try and show you what I see. That way when you guys come down, you guys know how I do this. I don't want you to come down and get disappointed. I'm uh, showing right here up in this center console area. You got a little bit of, little bit of uh, stress showing right there. So you can see that. That's nothing. And gunnels will look good and clean. I'm just trying to look for the points of interest that would show you guys, you know, where you run into. I'm showing caulk separation in a couple of spots as well um, on the boat. Just so you guys can see, there's just one example. I'm not going to get into the whole, uh, you know, whole thing. But as far as the rest of it goes, you know, you're going to have a couple little chippies and scratches here and there. But overall, like I said, you got a seller that just bought a boat, thought he wanted a boat, never used a boat. 
uh, but maintain the boat. And keeping it clean here is pretty tough, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, there you got a little more caulk separation. Alright, so that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I'm going to hop on out because I just remembered I needed to show you guys a couple more things. Just so you can see the platform. I'm just going to let get my sails on real quick. All right. Let me just hop down on my swim ladder. Okay. Okay, what I do want to show you is up on the port side. Right here in the hull, you got looks like probably didn't get the fender out in time. Uh, that's a little bit of a chip. Actually, I just made it worse. Um, well, actually, that piece just was there. So you might want to just, you know, give that a little bit of cover up. And also, right here. Um, definitely want to fill that in. Those are the only two spots of any note other than a couple little spots up on the boat. No issues with rub rail. Um, so anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Kind of rushing around a little bit on this video. Uh, I'm going to have to, I didn't take a look at the titles yet. I'm going to see if the titles actually call this a 2006 Seaboss or a 2007 Seaboss. I'll see if I can grab them if they're on site when I go in to take pictures of all the manuals that are also available for the vessel. But uh, Hull ID is telling us 07. We know the motors are 06. Clean titles. So Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Feel free to give us a call, email us, um, set something up to see the boat. What do you want to think about the boat? Let's talk about it. Anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com out in Seabrook, South Carolina, outside of Beaufort, off of 21 in Page Point Bluff. So we are quite, we're a little bit out of the way. So anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Give you the best view I can on this beautiful, Low hour Sea Boss 235 center console. You guys have a great and safe boating day.